All right, let's get a look at your forecast. First, though, let's take you out to Everett Live and that camera that shot there. Cloudy over the city, but, you know, some sun poking through there in parts of Puget Sound. So let's get to uh, oh, yeah. Jordan Wilkerson and find <laughs> out what we're in bad. for the rest of the week. <laughs> no. Yeah, so for the rest of the week, we're actually going to see some drying. Sorry, I'm looking at you guys over here on my monitor. I just like to, I just want to say, Jessica, I love your dress. Okay, let's Thanks. get to the forecast, though. <laughs> we're going to see some clearing as we go into, <laughs> as we go into the rest of the week, and that's because a ridge is going to start building in. So we're already starting to see a little bit of that in some of our northern counties like Whatcom, Skagit, even parts of Snohomish County starting to see that drying, as well as in Jefferson, Clallam County. But we are still seeing some showers pretty much south of I-90, and as you you get closer to Oregon, that's where you have the chances to maybe see an isolated thunderstorm, at least until sunset. We were seeing one in Yakima County, but not in our counties and our viewing areas just yet. But what's happening is that trough that has brought the showers for the last several days is finally going to be moving out because of that ridge that is offshore currently. So that will help to push everything to the east and then we'll get the benefits of that ridge. So there is that area of low pressure and the trough that it's sitting in that will continue to get nudged to the east as that ridge builds in. That ridge is going to keep us drier and warmer for a few days. It's not going to be that long lasting. We're not back into summer like weather just yet, um, but we're getting closer. So that's exciting because summer starts officially on Saturday. But notice what's happening as we go forward with that ridge building in. We're going to notice our temperatures warming each day. And then, like I said, we're going to start drying out and seeing more sunshine. So tomorrow we expect our highs to be right around 70 degrees, mid 70s to upper 70s Thursdays, Thursday and Friday with lots more sunshine. And remember, we had you closer to 80 on Saturday for the first day of summer. Well, right now, models are actually showing uh, a, a timing kind of change here. Sunday looked more wet, but now it looks like it could be Saturday with things tapering off on Sunday. So right now, we're just going to kind of keep you posted that there could be a chance for showers on Saturday, but we will keep you posted because things can always change. We're several days out. All right, temperatures outside right now are warmer than this time yesterday, so we're already starting to see that. Upper 50s to upper 60s, upper 50s like in Oak Harbor and upper 60s like in Seattle. So we're already close to 70 today for a lot of you, actually, in the Central and South Sound. So we're ranging up to 9 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. But again, we're going to keep warming in the days ahead. So partly to mostly sunny for you tomorrow, that ridge will already Ready start building in. So tomorrow's going to be a pretty nice day. Thursday, spectacular, sunny in 75, very similar on Friday. Saturday, again, partly sunny, but we could see Sunday's showers that we were initially talking about come in a little sooner. And that's why we have that chance on Saturday, potentially. But Sunday, we still look to see some showers as well. Now, I will say long range models going into work week next week look spectacular. We look to see a a lot more sunshine and warmer weather, but you know, things could always change. It is weather after all. That's true. Jordan, thank you for the forecast and the compliment. Appreciate it. <laughs>